If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, so now on to the fun part, making this butterfly. So I have my two pieces edge coated. I'm gonna take just a small snip. This, no, there's no sewing involved here, so use as much double-sided tape as you like. I'm just putting it down the center of the smaller butter, butterfly and placing it nice and centered on top of the larger butterfly. Now this is the tricky part, is we kind of want to do two pleats. I struggled with this a little bit, but I found using a little bit of Gorilla Glue really helped the process because it dries so fast. So I did my first little pleat like so and held it for a moment to dry. Then once that was dry, I came back and I did another kind of pleat on the bottom, bringing it together like so, so we get our butterfly shape again using a little bit of Gorilla Glue to help me out so it's kind of pinched in together in the middle like so and then I took a little glue in between those two folds just to help hold up those two pleats together as well we'll just let that dry for a moment Okay, so once that is done, this is where I'm doing it a little bit different than the pattern because I did not have a chain for this. So I'm taking that little binding and uh, strap that we had made and we are going to make a little wristlet strap with that. So do it however you like to do it. What I like to do is fold over about an inch or so through the swivel clasp, bring up the other raw edge to match the hardware and then fold over that inch or so over top of that and secure with a rivet. But any way you like to make a wristlet, you can do here. Okay, and then you're gonna take your wristlet and you are going to slip it over like so um, to the center of your butterfly and then you're going to take a little bit of monster glue right tight to, uh, to where the butterfly center is just on the top there and glue your wristlet so it holds it in place and then once you've done that you clip it to your bag and we're done